Hey! Got anything to eat? No, sorry, I... Hey, don't I know you? Could be. Yeah, yeah, I know you. Uh, did you used to be on TV? Yeah, well, TVs anyway. Yeah, I played your game with the maze and the ghosts, right? Yeah, that's me. Play me on your Atari, the arcade. Atari? What's an Atari? I played it on my computer. I have an emulator. Emulators. Don't get me started. <coughs> yes, you move me around with your little arrow keys. Yeah, I guess. Where's the fun in that? <laughs> Ain't no spirit in keys, son. When they took away the joystick, they took away the joy. Emulators. You know how much royalties I get from emulators? You know how much? Nothing. Getting played all around the world. And not one goddamn red cent goes to old Mr. Pack. The one that started it all. Okay, sorry, but I really... Best-selling arcade game of all time, son. Of all time! Roll that around on your tongue a little. And what do I get for it? Not even a gold cartridge or some crap to hang on my wall? Or even a wall to hang it on? Right, it's well, I really, I really... It ain't over, though. Ah, my time is gonna come. You can't keep a good pack down. <laughs> Say, you got anything to eat? Cherries, maybe a peach? Uh... <laughs> Mister, can you spare so? <laughs> there you are. No, I don't want no trouble, you hear? Heck, it's me, Blinky. I'm not gonna hurt you. You? You want after my life? I only have but one, and I'm not about to let you take it. Heck, why would I want to hurt you? <laughs> <laughs> why? It's what you do. You chase me around, and you kill me, and you kill me, and you kill me. That was three decades ago, Pack. I haven't chased you else in years. I work for Sony now. Artist relations. Artist re what? Here, let me get you my card. I mean, mm, mm. I did just set it down there for you. I don't understand. I went back to school and got my MBA. The ghost got to earn a living, right? No. You're my nemesis. You're supposed to chase me to the death. That was a game, Pac. A paycheck? It wasn't a game. It was my life. It was my life. What was, Pac? Was. Man, what happened to you? He is the king of the world. I remember hearing all those stories about the parties in Hollywood Hills. You in a hot tub with a Babe on each arm, laying into power pellets the size of watermelon. Well, Frogger and Pitfall Harry did lines in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, those were some good times. The whole world had it back then. Pac-Man fever. Where did that all go? You know as well as I. Everybody blew me off. Namco, Midway. Soon everybody's got 8-bit processors. Wandering endlessly around one screen just isn't good enough. Nobody appreciates a classic anymore. You know, that Mario, he was a smart one. Went over to Nintendo just before the bubble burst. Now look at him. Bigger than ever. Well, except for the dwarfism. <laughs> Doors closed, Pac. At least there were residuals for a while, and the pension helped. And now uh, you joined up the union, right? Pac-Man works alone. 
you have anything left? Some maybe tiny royalties. Every six months, my agent comes, hands me a check, disappears. Agent hasn't gotten me a role since a walk-on in Madden football. <laughs> 96. Dang. Yeah, I heard you falling on hard times. It, it wears you out. All the running around and the darting around and the sharp turns and the eating. All the eating. First it was the bulimia and then the jaw surgery. I was out of the game just a few months. One day I woke up. Zelda and Metroid were all over the trades. And Mrs. Hackman? It's gone back to being Miss Pac-Man. Oh. <laughs> Look, Pac, I can help you. I don't need no help. <laughs> I talked to Pinky and Clyde the other day. I heard Pinky was dead. We're ghosts, Pac. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, Sony's got an offer. They, uh, want us to do a getting the game back together type thing. They what? Yeah. Uh, nostalgia, you know? It's real big right now. Suddenly, all these middle-aged guys, they've got money, they got kids, they're, uh, rediscovering their youth. We become symbols, Pac, of a simpler time. Born in America. Exactly. They want us to do a reunion tour. We're gonna open for Donkey Kong. What? Man, that ape is such a royal I pain I know, the... I know. What about Inky? Are you gonna need him, too? Located a Bahrain. Calls himself Sharif Abdul now. Guess he's out then. It, it's fine. We got one of the mushrooms from Super Mario Brothers. You just throw a sheet over his head and he can't even tell the difference. Huh. Look, Pac, I've been authorized to get you this. It's a one year contract. Good money. Guaranteed. All the power pellets you can eat and royalties besides. Thirty years too late. <sighs> Mighty small type you got here. Don't worry about the fine print pack. Just get that signed and we will get you back cleaned up and then back in the spotlight. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Don't worry about the particulars pack. Just sign it. Why don't I uh, take this to my agent, have him give it a little look-see? <laughs> you do not have to do that. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. What's this right here? Ms. Pac-Man reunion tour? Probably just a typo. <laughs> Hell of a typo. Since it's in here again. Oh, and again. All right. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> We approached your ex about the reunion tour, had it move in, but she reneged. So, your plan B. Really? Yeah. Except ten minutes ago, you were acting like you hadn't heard from her in years. Are you lying to me? What is it I'm signing here? Is there a reunion tour or not? Don't force my hand here, Pac. Just sign it. I knew it. What are you really up to? Fine. You really want to know? Yeah. Paragraph 19C. <clears throat> I, the undersigned, do hereby relinquish all claim upon the name Pac-Man or any representation thereof in perpetuity? You bastard. My name is all I have left. And it's about time you gave it up, you broken down sack of pixels. That way, the Ms. Pac-Man reunion tour can get moving without any messy legal entanglements. I knew I couldn't trust you. What did you expect? You think it was fun being a villain? Stuck in that little box center screen? Only ever let out to follow you around for a while? Always the same pointless chase down the same dark, tired corridors. And death was no relief, 
there you are, five seconds later, and it never ended. Level numbers just changed. <laughs> oh, and I suppose I got all the glory. <laughs> and money, and the magazine covers, and the chicks. Oh, including all the ones we never told Mrs. Pac-Man about. I guess she gets the last laugh after all. Like that harpy hasn't taken enough from me already. Oh. <laughs> At least she sent us Christmas cards. Still does! And there's you. You remember all those electronic shows we'd be invited to? There you'd be, center stage, signing autographs with a line 200 people deep waiting to meet you. Meanwhile, you're shunted off to some panel discussion with a couple of space invaders and the snake from Cuba. <laughs> she would never even so much as stop by to say hello. That was 30 years ago! Now who's dwelling? It was our life too. And it will be again, just as soon as you sign that contract. Or else what? <laughs> or else you're down to your last life. And I'm willing to bet you're fresh out of quarters. Don't piss off a ghost, Pat. We got nothing to lose. <laughs> well, guess you got me in a corner, huh? You could say that. No one puts Pac-Man in a corner. Is that what I think it is? We could go on like this. How long have you had that? Oh, I've been saving it for a special occasion. I think this qualifies. And what are you going to do with it? Well, I'm going to hold it in abeyance here until we walk on over to Sony and talk about this here reunion tour. What makes you think they're going to listen to you? <sighs> Time was the whole world listened to me. I bet I could still bend the ears of some of those Sony execs for a while. If you just get me in the door. And if I refuse to cooperate? Game over, man. Game 